I'm Charles Rosen, founder and CEO of New Arc Farms and Jersey Cider Works, the makers of Ironbound Hard Cider. About five years ago, I started a company called New Arc Farms, which was focused on urban renewal and workforce development in Newark. It came to our attention about two years into it that cider, hard cider, was the very first industry ever in Newark, New Jersey. George Washington loved Newark cider more than anything else, and it was known as the champagne of cider. The special apple that it was made with was known as the Harrison. It was thought to be extinct. I spent two years with an apple detective, a guy named John Bunker, finding the Harrison. And so we brought the Harrison back to commercial scale here in New Jersey. When we started the company about five years ago, our primary for focus was the hiring and training of formerly incarcerated men and women. We felt that as a Newark-based company, our job was to really focus on the, the chronically underemployed and the most underserved members of the community. What's interesting about most programs, specifically when you're thinking about re-entry, again, re-entering society from prison, the vast majority of programs are three, four, six weeks long. The idea that you can help an individual shift from a chronic state of poverty into being an active participant either in a company or within their own community, um, that you can do that in such a short-term basis is, is shockingly naive. I come from the streets. I, I was a, um, a street person all my life. Decided to sell drugs all my life. So I just took an opportunity, like this is my first job, my first real job at that, at the age of 37. I really see James being a, a, a senior member of this team, managing and eventually owning, let's say, our nursery operation. He and I talk a lot about bringing our nurseries, which is where our trees start, into Newark. And I remember just anecdotally when there was an article written about us a while ago uh, and the journalist wanted to talk about James, um, I was a little nervous to ask him if he was interested in being in an article in Edible Jersey about grafting apple trees. And when I asked him, he said, well, if she didn't use my name in my picture, how would my kids or my grandkids know that these were my trees? And this idea that his identity is, is being reframed as opposed to being a dealer, but is about his role here as a crew chief and manager is a very, really powerful thing to witness. The knowledge that I learned about working for a company is all about the boss, like, understanding your background, understanding what he's trying to do, and understanding he's working with you, giving you an opportunity. And it's not just for you, yourself, you gotta think about your family and your kids. So I, I value this opportunity that he gave me. I was enrolled in a program with uh, Jim McGreevy for re-entry. It was a construction program, it was, was, we were the pilot, we were the first group. Charles Rosen came to speak to our group. Um, and everything he was saying, he was talking about re-entry, how he had hired people on the farm. Sid is our most recent hire from Governor McGreevy's organization, and she has had a remarkably difficult life. She unfortunately lost both of her children and her former partner, was put into prison for a domestic violence incident where she really shouldn't have been doing jail time. It led to a pretty treacherous path, and yet I have never met a person more positive, more inspired and inspiring, almost to the point of annoying because she's just wanting to do so much all the time. And uh, to see that sort of energy and that spark in someone who has had every excuse, I think, to kind of just, you know, give up and or just not show up. And Sid shows up every single day. And we see a really interesting role for her as she gets more, um, involved in all the different aspects of the business. Being incarcerated is really hard. I believe everybody, everybody deserves a second chance. That's very important. A lot of employers, you know, first of all, they don't know what you did, but you have, you know, it's like a scarlet letter. So it's really hard. Jersey is one of the most diverse populations in the country. We feel very strongly that our companies should reflect that diversity. We think that diversity brings strength to our company and makes us more resilient so we can you know, weather both literal and figurative storms. And I think more companies should be understanding that that's actually how business should be done. And our success is gonna be because of it, not despite it. If Charles keeps me here, I'll be here because I, I love it. I love the outdoors. I, I like working with machinery. I like working with my hands. So God willing, with God's help and 
bless Charles, you know, hopefully I'll be here for the day I say, hey, it's time to retire. 